Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Amy with Amy Astro and I've got a new video for you this week. Um, let's do a quick update. It's been an interesting week for me. Let's see, this is the third week that I have worked from home. Extremely grateful I have the ability to do that. Um, let's see, everyone at home is safe and sound. No worries there. We're being extremely responsible like we're supposed to be. So that's a good thing. Let's see. Oh, Saturday, we hit 1,000 subscribers. Huge. I, I, I tell you what, you know, I was a dancing fool in the living room saying 1,000, 1,000, I did it. Uh, yeah, I did that. Um, thankfully, the camera wasn't rolling at that time. But since then, we're, uh, we've gained, really, this last week alone, we have gained over a hundred subscribers. Holy cow, you know, thank you. Thank you, everyone. Uh, you know, this could become a reality. You know, the, uh, you know, my real goal about this is, um, yes, I would like to get monetized like everybody does, but the reason I want to get monetized is really just to pay for my hobby. Uh, Astrophotography is very expensive and we all know this very well. So if I could bring in just enough income to let me buy a few more toys, that would be incredible. And so far we are on our way to doing that and that's all thanks to you. My subscribers, my loyal viewers, everyone that's putting clocking in the hours on YouTube. So thank you very, very much. It took us seven months and three days to reach a thousand. So let's see, can we get my last 900 hours watched in the next month? Hey, if we're all locked down, why not? You know, we've got plenty to do. Why not just uh, sit back and watch me? Have a good laugh, drink a beer or two, have a glass of wine, you know. <laughs> everyone, it's Amy Astro here. Uh, believe it or not, I started this video several hours ago. It was quite bright out here. Uh, the dogs were barking, my neighbors were mowing their yard and all that good stuff. And this video started out as one thing and I think it's gonna turn into something else along the way. Uh, it started out with me having a problem and I needed y'all's help. And the problem was dealing with my autofocuser and it feeling like it was forgetting where it was in the travel motion. And one time I would focus in 8,000 and another time I would focus down at 4,000 and you know, that's really far off. So I went through Sequence Generator Pro and all my settings and I recalculated all of that math that's involved in coming up with the step sizes and stuff. And I'll probably bring that back in and, and show you how to calculate your step size if you're curious how to, how to do that. And then it was kind of like a light bulb moment. You know, who's the one person, the one person who probably knows exactly what I'm going through? The manufacturer. So what did I do? I got on email, I dialed up uh, focuser.com, went to the support tab, and sent an email to Ron. And tell you what, within 10 minutes he responded. Fastest service yet, I'll tell you what, he is A plus all around. All right, so first email out. You know, you know me, I'm kind of long-winded. And I wrote him this really long email. And this email had all my symptoms. I had all my trace files attached. I had screenshots. Oh, the poor guy having to read this thing. I'm sorry, Ron. Really, I am. And he sent me back about three sentences. I was like, three sentences? All right, so basically he was being kind and not overloading me with information, which was a good thing. And he said, one, for me to check the clutch and see it sounded like the clutch was slipping and that kind of made sense you know with me focusing at one point and focusing on another it seemed like there was something slipping in this train more than it being a software issue so I came back out here I checked it and I wrote him back and said nope let's try again it's something else and he sent me back another email with three steps uh, one of them 
being for me to check the cables. Yeah, that's an obvious one. Um, another one was for me to check the travel on the, the, um, on the focus tube here and gently push it back in and see if there was some resistance, a, a reasonable amount of resistance. But you know what? When I pushed it, it went sunk all the way in, which tells me there wasn't enough tension on it. So somewhere along the way, um, between me installing it or whatnot, um, it became loose. And what I didn't know is he told me that there are two screws on the bottom side of this that needed to be tightened ever so slightly. Cats are in the window. So, and he told me to just tighten them 1 20th of a turn with the H 8 inch Allen head. Well, it ended up being a slightly smaller Allen head, like one step down than the 8th. I don't know why, you know, but I do have Harbor Freight tools. So, you know, it could be a little bit off. But I did that. I had to take the whole scope out of the, the bracket and I was just holding it with the cable still on. And I gave it just a slight little crank. And I came back here and I, you know, cranked it out and I went to push on it and it's sturdy. It's not going anywhere. So I'm hoping this is my fix. But ultimately, what I have found is you just can't beat a good manufacturer. A manufacturer who is fast on the response, knows his equipment, knows how to respond, you know, well with uh, instructions that just about anybody can answer, you know, anybody can follow. And he even include pictures. Gosh, I love having pictures because, you know, that really does help. So shout out to Ron <clears throat> at Moonlight Focuser, A plus service, A plus company. Um, I know they're expensive guys, I, I really do, but you know, you get exactly what you pay for and this is quality. This, this really is quality. So where I started at this video of needing help, I ended up helping myself by contacting the manufacturer, which is probably what I should have done months ago when I had been fighting this issue. But I was fighting this issue with a few hours here and there of cloud time, you know? So I never really dove into my problem to figure out what it was, and I figured it was a software setting, so bad for me. So that's what I've got for you this week. Short and sweet. Uh, shout out to Ron at Moonlight Focuser. He is top notch. I definitely recommend all their products. I own not only their basic stepper motor, but I do have the Moonlight Nightcrawler. I know it's expensive. Get what you pay for. But gosh, that thing has been a dream ever since I've owned it and I love it. So that's what I've got for you guys this week. I hope everybody is doing well. I am safe at home. I'm on my third week staying home, um, working from the house remotely. Incredibly grateful that my employer allows me to do that and we have the internet. I can thank the internet to my brother because he will boast that he is the one that services it, which is true. He is the internet repairman, so if I have a problem, that's who I call. And he knows it. So, uh, let's see. Oh, huge news. I recorded this part earlier, and I may or may not share that part earlier, because I don't know where I talked about my problem. But, this week, 1,000. 1,000 subscribers, guys. And since then, it has just been blowing up. Last week's video, is now my third video since I've started. Third video all times out of the top 38 that I have submitted, three in the list. And it's only been out a week, guys. You have just blown past the thousand views. It's just incredibly. You've blown past the thousand subscribers. Um, before I know it, I will be eligible to be monetized, which it's nice to have a little bit of money in my pocket, most definitely, because um, this is a lot of hard work. And, but you know, when I look at the tracking and the money rate that I would be earning, I have a whole Big Mac meal at McDonald's once a month. That will be my treat. So for all these videos, I get one Big Mac meal. Yay for me. Gotta love that. But thank you everyone. I appreciate all of you. You're wonderful. I want you to stay safe, stay at home, stay healthy, and I am praying you all have some wonderful clear skies with this free time and you're able to get outside and go catch some photons. Until next week, y'all.
This is Amy with Amy Astro. I'll see y'all then. Goodbye. I really want to talk to you guys. But between the neighbor's dog barking and the cat's not sleeping enough, I'm constantly getting interrupted. Who thought cats couldn't sleep enough? Anytime now. Oh, and I've got chickens back here too. They're not mine. And just like that, a lot more cranks up. I don't catch a break. I'm trying. I'm really trying to finish this video for you. Alright, I'll try again another 10 minutes.